Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. We are going right into the build a beautiful upper back workout, okay? This workout will engage not only your latissimus dorsi, but it will also include your trapezius muscles, your rhomboids, a little bit of your infraspinatus, and your teres major muscles, which are a little bit more on the outer portion of your upper back. We'll get into it. We are going right into bent over rows. You'll notice that there are two variations and the only change is your hand position, guys. Notice right now, um, it is the standard barbell row with my grip is pronated. Whereas the first exercise was a supinated grasp, guys. Basically, that is where my, my palms were not facing me. They were facing away from me. Um, so you'll notice, guys, I'm just using the barbell. I don't have a ton of weight on it. Again, my goals are to continue to stay lean and lean out more. I am not at all really interested in building muscle as I'm interested in maintaining. So going back into third exercise are deep diagonal face pulls now guys this is a longer cable rope if you guys have these at your gym this is I prefer this length of cable rope for this particular exercise I can get all the way down and I focus on bringing my elbows out and basically hitting the floor it is so good I have I absolutely love it I don't know why I just feel like there's more there's more intention in the workout the exercise itself it's really good, so give that a try. Same thing, but not as much of a diagonal. We're going right into our fourth exercise, the cable rope face pull. Guys, now this is different than the third exercise because gravity is doing different things, okay? You're actually going to be gauging your posterior delts a little bit more in this exercise because you're pulling the rope a little bit more horizontal than you did with the diagonal. Uh, pull okay so you'll start to feel those posterior delts and your traps which are the muscles right below your neck you really want to focus on keeping your neck nice and long and really bringing those elbows out and squeezing your back as much as possible nice and slow moves all right we're going right into our fifth exercise which is the cable rope straight arm pull downs same rope here you guys could also use the shorter version um, without any difficulty okay you're gonna perform 8 to 15 reps for four sets and guys you'll notice that you kind of do bend forward just a little bit it helps give you a little bit greater range of motion and then you can bring your arms all the way back even past even past your waist I want you to bring it all the way back and again squeeze the upper back so very important that you do it and you don't just go through the movements. I know I have a lot of girls who wonder why they're not, they've been working out six months to a year and they're not seeing the results that they were hoping for. Now again, it's all based on expectation, but a lot of times I don't think that people really engage their muscles. They don't really focus in on what they're doing um, and they just go through the motions and hope for results. So that's not the case, guys. All right. Going right into our wide grip pull downs to finish off this workout. This is obviously, again, lats, teres major, infraspinatus muscles, nice and slow, and get that wide grip. This is a pronated grip again, guys, okay? Keep your thumbs over the bar. It will help, and nice and slow movements. All right, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next YouTube. So guys, all right, where are we going? Denver. So stay two. Going to the warehouse with the boy. He looks so excited. He gets so much more space in there. Um, and we are just going to finish setting up all of the shelving today so that we can finalize, finally organize all the boxes in there. Make sure we have a really good um, plan as to how they'll be organized and um, for the launch next weekend. So we're gonna go do that. I got a couple more goodies for the warehouse We're gonna make it like super cozy. I hope um, Because we're gonna we, we're gonna probably be spending a lot of time there um, You know, especially running your for our, your own business. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of important. Don't you think D? Don't you think D? Ah, okay, you ready to go? You ready to go? Why say hey? You ready to go? We have some shelving to put up. You ready? Come on. Let's go this way. Yep, you know where to go. Come on. Yes, yes. Oh, my little. Okay. Actually, I'm going to bring that in. Yep, yep. I'm going that way. Come on. Yay. Let's go put on some. Let's go put on some of that, shall we? Okay, awesome. Let's do it.
going right into my favorite, absolute favorite comfort food, healthy recipe. This, guys, you if, if you follow me, if you f have followed me on my YouTube channel for a while, one of my first recipes was my low-carb spaghetti. And, guys, I love giving you guys recipes. I don't give too many because I am usually one who likes consistency. Um, you know, these recipes... You guys want, you ask, like, how can I do it all? Well, a lot of times it's because I'm not trying a lot of new recipes. I'm I'm sticking to the ones that I absolutely love, that I know my body tolerates well, that I actually crave. So we are going right into um, our low-carb spaghetti. I'm using zucchini for my noodles, and then I actually already kind of pre-mixed the meat, but I also still have to add um, some old-fashioned oats to this, some Worcestershire sauce, and then one or two eggs. Really just depends, guys. The eggs kind of just give it a little bit more um, stickiness um, so that when you roll them up to a ball, into meatballs, um, it kind of helps a little bit, plus extra protein. What I have in here, I've got three extra lean ground turkey um, packets and then two extra lean ground beef packets, okay? Um, not really sure how much meat is in each each packet, but it's probably about a pound of each. I'm doing a lot because Scott will eat a lot of these kind of as his meals the next couple of days because I haven't made chicken. So I'm making a lot of them. This is what we do. We're going to eat this the zucchini for our vegetable and then a lot of them the meat and then I'm going to make my homemade tomato sauce you're going to see here in just a few minutes. So let's go. Okay, so two tips for you. This spiral spiralizer, I believe I got from Amazon, and this brand is called Paderno. P-A-D-E-R-N-O. I'll link it down here somewhere. Um, the other thing with this, guys, it comes with this little stick that you're supposed to stick here in this little hole, and it's actually supposed to go into the um, vegetable. I don't like using it. I, ca I think it causes more problems than not, but what I have to do is I actually need to spiral pretty quickly. I hold my hands right here. I hold my hand here and here so that I can push it together. You wanna push this little contraption towards the, the spikes and as you're turning and then go turn see it's probably not gonna last it's gonna turn on me here the faster you go the more control you have it obviously gets easier as you get closer to the end I make them nice and thick okay right here um why is that they actually lose less water in the pan when you cook them like that. You're gonna cook them on high heat too, okay? Freaking love these things. And then I eat these little guys. You don't wanna go take, <laughs> you don't want those to go to waste. You do, <laughs> you, preferably you do not want these crooked. You want them straight. You don't want them crooked. Sometimes I'll cut them in half and then I'll just do one at a time because the more that they're crooked, the, the less chance that you're gonna be able to get through it really quickly. So we'll see how this one goes. Chances are, chances are it might turn on me here. Maybe not. I'm just so good at this, guys. Hello, zucchini noodles. Aren't they so pretty? It's had, got, had so many. Now, a lot of them are going to look like this because that's usually just sometimes how they, um, the spiralizer does, does it. But then you're going to get, like, the little guy little guys like these guys I'm gonna put these up I'm gonna put them on high heat guys on the stove okay leave them open now this is a lot of zucchini noodles I do recommend like half of this because then that's less water that it's actually going to keep in the um, keep in the pan what I'll probably do is I'll do my best to try to drain as much water out as possible you do not want to overcook these zucchini noodles either okay um, you want to keep them almost al dente like noodles because otherwise they're gonna get too soggy and then they're only gonna last one day if that okay so almost just lightly cook them mm -hmm. 